building up to India versus New Zealand. The toss is about to happen. We'll bring you the update from the toss as well as the playing 11 for both the teams. But first, let's listen in to India coach, uh, that is Rahul Dravid. He spoke about uh, where are strengths of the Indian team, strengths of the New Zealand team, and what is it that India would be focusing on. So we'll listen in to uh, Rahul Dravid as well and what he has to say about uh, you know Indian team's plan going ahead uh, into this game. But what we can tell you at the moment is that India have won the toss. This could be an all-important toss uh, for the Indian team uh, because as we said, building up to this game, in rest of the matches, there hasn't been a lot of due. You expect a lot of uh, due here. And India has decided to field first. That that means the Indian team would be bowling when the sun is going to be out and they are going to be chasing in the second half uh, and uh, you know look then to chase down whatever total New Zealand were to give them uh, batting first. So that's the latest update that we're getting right now from Dharamshala. Indian captain Rohit Sharma has won the toss and has decided to field first. What that also tells you that five games in a row, India would be chasing. Now, this is a trend that we've seen with the Indian team so far. They've played four games. They've won four games. Interestingly, all those four games, they were chasing. And this time too, their fifth game versus a dangerous-looking New Zealand team, they've won the toss and once again decided to chase the total that will be set to them by the New Zealand team. So very shortly you will see the Indian bowlers come out to bowl and the Kiwi batsmen uh, come out to bat. We'll also have the playing 11 update very, very shortly uh, in terms of what is it that India have decided. Remember, they will be forced to make a change and that change is going to come courtesy the injury to Hardik uh, Pandya. Okay, so the big news in terms of the playing 11 is that there is no Hardik Pandya and no Shardul Thakur as well. So India have gone in with that option that many people were talking about seemed to be the most favourable uh, option that India could have gone with in terms of getting their balance right. So they've got in a Mohammad Shami, they've got in a Surya Kumar Yadav. What that does is Surya Kumar Yadav will kind of give you the batting that a Hardik Pandya was giving you at number six. And in terms of bowling, India haven't risked gone with uh, uh, Shardul Thakur, who has been leaking runs in this tournament and has been sharing his quota of 10 overs with Hardik Pandya. Because today, if they had to play with five bowlers, they would have needed a bowler to bowl their full quota of 10 overs, which is why they've gone with a Mohammad Shami. So that's the latest update in terms of the playing 11 India has gone with. Let me just sum up the 11. You got Rohit Sharma, Shubman Gill, your openers, Virat Kohli, Shreya Sayer, KL Rahul, that middle order, Surya Kumar Yadav at number six. That's the addition that India has made. Jadeja will remain at number seven, the bowling all rounder. Then you've got a Kuldeep Yadav, the other spinners, and then three out and out fast bowlers. Uh, first time in this tournament, India are playing all their three top of the line fast bowlers in Jaspreet Bumrah, Mohammad Shami and Mohammad Siraj. So many would say that India's best fast bowling lineup will get to see them first time in this tournament. So that's the latest update that we are getting in terms of uh, what has happened in Dharamshala. The Indian team has won the toss and they are going to be bowling fast. Okay, let's now, with all this information, go to our analyst in Robin Utapa. Robin, first, let's talk about the toss. Uh, you reckon this has been dictated by the fact that the conditions are telling you that you should be bowling, uh, you should be uh, bowling first, or do you think it's been dictated by the fact that India have been chasing in this tournament and chasing very well, so they've said, okay, we won the toss once again, why not continue with that trend? No, I think when you listen to the uh, press conference of Rahul Dravid, you'll, you'll understand that they don't necessarily look at the opposition or the trends that, are, that have been going well. Uh, I think what they're looking at are the conditions and the conditions dictate what they want to do as far as, you know, batting first or bowling first is concerned. And I think here in Dharamshala, the conditions have, uh, you know, uh, based on the strength of uh, the Indian side, the conditions have favoured, um, you know, free, uh, fielding first and uh, chasing the score down. And uh, g given the fact that the due is going to be a big factor, you're hoping that that comes into play and negates the swing and seam bowling that the 
New Zealand fast bowlers can kind of extract out of this wicket, which is why I think they've uh, decided to field first. 